No, that's true. I've, I ha I've had to do it in emergencies yeah. a couple of times. Today I'm going to show you how I ended up getting this screen with this image on here using the sun. This is not the preferred way. However, when all systems seem to crash where you don't have an exposure unit working anymore, this will work as long as the sun is shining. The equipment that is needed is no more than a piece of wood with either painted black or I got a piece of rubber on there. That's one piece. Then I have a piece of glass. Ordinary glass. Don't use plexiglass. That flexes too much. This is nice and flat. And then I have another piece of wood. Black is good because it absorbs ultraviolet energy. You take your photo positive. Put the glass on like that. Take one piece of wood with painting on there. Like that. Oh, you, remember, you want your positive on the print side of your screen. That's important. Then you take this piece of wood, lay it directly on top, and then you go expose it to the sun. Now it's important that you keep this on until you get ready to expose. I got my pressure plate on, you can see here. Now what you want to do is do it probably, the exposure should take place probably at high noon, when the sun is at the highest point. And believe it or not, it doesn't matter if you're in Canada or in the Caribbean, or anywhere on earth, as long as the sun is shining, it's giving off ultraviolet light. And by the way, temperature has nothing to do with it. It's UV light. So what I'm gonna do, the sun is, oh, about 11 o'clock right now. I'm going to take this off, do my exposure. And this one I'm gonna expose for about 20 seconds. The nice thing about chroma blue, it has very wide exposure latitude. It's very forgiving. Now this pressure plate is holding that positive nice and tight to the screen. After about 20 seconds, that's about it. Take the board, cover that up, it's done being exposed. I bring it in and I'm done. Now it's been exposed, I am now going to do the washout in a light safe area. You don't wash this stuff out under the sun. Remember, it's been exposed. Sure, it's nice and light out there, but UV light is always hitting the screen. So if we're working under safe light conditions like I am here, you don't have to have yellow lights. You could just have a subdued lighting will be fine, but direct sunlight is a big no-no. And if I did things right, it should wash out nice and clear. Let's see. What I'm going to do, is it's going to get a little noisy here. See that lighter area? That light area is actually the, the color of the emulsion as water is being absorbed into it. It just turns more milky. To me, that's telling me that I did get an exposure. see this a color difference here that's telling me that I could have exposed a little bit longer the longer I expose it the more it's the darker the uh, entire stencil will be light is telling me I can expose a little bit longer but as you can see I do have an image the other thing is you have to remember that uh, during exposure you want the Sun to be as perpendicular to the screen as possible if it's at an angle it won't work as well. So high noon is really the best time to take your exposures. Obviously, first thing in the morning, it's not going to work too hot. Late in the afternoon, it's not going to work because the sun's going to be at the wrong angle. You want this, the sun as high as possible and the screen is directly facing it as possible. That will give you your best exposure. As you can see, the sun does work. This exposure is just fine. You got your image on the screen, everything you need. The positive is still good. The exposure unit 
couple pieces or a piece of glass and a couple of pieces of wood work just fine. However, it does have its limitations. If it's cloudy out or raining or at night, this type of exposure unit is not going to work. You're going to need a different way to expose your screens. And we will show those in the next video. I was going to say something clever like, and that's no bull, but that is a bull. <laughs>